Okay, so I want to talk about pull-ups because Omar, I have seen many videos over the years from you of how to grow your back, how I'm growing my back, biggest back ever. <laughs> so big, big pull-up fan. And I actually, I did your pull-up specialization program. I don't know how many there are, but, I, but this was 2018. Um, and I'd have to go back and look through the log. But at the time it was, I'm, I'm guessing like 20 sets of pull-ups a week, uh, probably 30 plus sets of back per week. And it was, and this will tie into some volume stuff I want to talk about as well. But what was very interesting was I did it because I had kind of not really fully injured, but kind of tweaked my pec. And so I set to two sets per week of chest work during that time. And strength stayed exactly the same. And that was like when I was like, okay, like the maintenance volume for me, at least is like so dramatically lower, which is, is you know, again, we can talk about that. Um, but I know you're a fan of pull-ups in general, at least for a long time you were. I would say that was a, a huge mainstay. And actually one of the only things I still do, obviously over almost 20 years of training that has changed like what I do. Pull-ups, heavy pull-ups are one of the main things I do still that I could like look back and compare to early days. Um, so was, was there always a love for pull-ups for you? Was it something that you feel was responsible for a lot of your back? And then obviously Eric, I want to hear from you too. Yeah, I think, um, obviously I think I have an overemphasis on pull-ups just because I enjoyed the movement. And that's usually what happens. Like I was having a great uh, conversation when the whole, uh, Mike is were telling me the video about the overhead press and I was talking with like Milo Wolf about doing the overhead press. It's like, okay, like we need to find like what's an optimal movement, what's not optimal movement. Well, what if you do a movement? What if you're able to apply more energy towards a movement that might not be as optimal as another movement? Um, what, what would then be the end result? And so for myself, I really like doing pull-ups. It was just a fun, I mean, I got, when I first started lifting, I was slightly influenced by body weight movements just because at home we do push ups, then you do the pull ups and so on and so forth. And it felt like one of those movements that, how do you, how do you phrase this? That, you know, some of them, like if you're locked in and you're doing like a machine or so on and so forth, you really do feel like a bodybuilder, but there's a fluidity in the movement of uh, performing a pull up or like either like weighted and just like the movement through space that just feels good. Um, so, my body responded to it. I enjoyed doing it. Um, and then I noticed the only compliment I got from one Alberto Nunez, uh, when I saw him in person, he looked fantastic, like just his physique and everything else is we did like a bit, like just with Eric, um, supposing stuff. The thing he said, he's like, you got a wide back. He's like, you have a thing. And I was like, and my house, like, <laughs> I'm like, that's all I need to hear from Grace from Alberto himself. Check. There you go. Um, so it, it was one of those things where it's like, uh, as I'm sure, like the terms and conditions that I said, it's like, this isn't the ultimate program to blow up your, but, but like, this is like, if you want to pursue a particular movement and you get a good response from it, like I do for pull-ups, go ahead and do it. Um, and so that's, yeah, man, like there's some, we have the, like the Bane back photo. Um, it's yeah. still like it, for, for years, it comprised basically of like 70% vertical pulling volume and i found like the body like the last just responded well sad story though that is related to our tangent that's why everything's related is uh so during the pandemic i picked back up i did muay thai years and years ago but there's no like gyms in toronto that did muay thai so did for a bit then decided to do the whole lifting thing anyways then during the pandemic i knew someone that was like a, a golden gloves a boxer i'm like hey i want just on the side pursuit for fun right like we're doing the lifting lifting's going very well Anyways, that's not how I injured my elbow. That is what well, I threw like a jab and I hyper, I thought I hyper extended it. Mm. Anyways, it eventually led to like the bone. That's not the thing that led to it, but it's the thing that notified me that something was going on with the elbow. And now, unfortunately, sad moment. I can actually say this during the podcast because like the video will eventually, uh, like my video will be out. Is so I'm able now to do everything. I hit a 610 deadlift in December that like I'm post. So I hit a new all time PR. And nice. honestly, like I feel, I feel good. Like we're building, we're in the mass phase towards like, you know, like six twenty or whatever. So that's good. I could bench press now, so the elbow. But the one movement, Dave, the one movement that I can't do the volume I want just to be safe. Yet it's been a year and a half, and we're just introducing more volume in pull-ups. Oh, man. I could do them, Sorry but I that. can't do them. Yeah, I can't do them to the level I want, but I would be. Yeah. Can I ask? Um... Or wait, let Eric jump in here. What do you have a uh, like a rep PR for pull ups and maybe like a weighted PR? Yeah, I think so. I was able to do solid and now keep them. I was probably 175 at the time, but I did 30 uh, body weight. That was good. Like that, like I'll like I'll take that. That's fine. Neither good nor uh, bad. And then I did do as a challenge. I think I never went 
um exceptionally heavy like you know how some people try and one rep max yeah. my approach to, with pulse was always volume and then i would the first several sets would be pretty far from failure but then by the time you get it they're all like at, at least rp8 but you're just like stacking set after set after set and interesting enough now that some of the research is coming out about like you know length and partials and so forth there'd be many reps uh done with sets where you take them you do all complete reps and then you just try you're like okay can i like pull myself up like how far can i pull myself up on the last rep and i don't know just because like you know on a deadlift if you try and pick it up from the ground and you get to your knee that's not a completed rep on a pull-up it's like oh like you know i brought it up to my forehead the last rep as opposed to you know chin over the bar yeah. um so that definitely could have been a factor but yeah man i think like with a 45 pound uh weighted attachment i think i did like 19 reps like it's nothing nice. crazy yeah nothing that's nothing good, i would man. say it, it's it was never a movement i don't even know what the potential is probably fine like i don't think my i've seen people do like 200 pounds you know like assist like a plus 200 pounds body weight but yeah uh it'd, it'd be like volume or high repetitions yeah yeah so eric um I, I think we actually have talked about pulse on one of our early podcasts is that just to you just another movement maybe don't even include it not ideal not helpful to the bodybuilding goals or man i wish it i, I responded as well to pull-ups as i wanted to i think um like the big three like snatch and clean and jerk um like overhead press and uh, like many other kind of traditional either weighted body weight or barbell based movements, I have an affectation towards them. I have I have a, a desire to train in that way and to be a minimalist um, and to just be like the silver age kind of quote unquote uh, strength athlete slash bodybuilders. Like I want I've always wanted to be the, the, the Grimmick, Steve Reeves, you know, Tommy Kono kind of guy who who does you know your 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 bent over rows your pull-ups your deadlift your squat your bench press your overhead press um some donkey calf raises with a hunky friend on your shoulders and uh and looks amazing um and it's not like i didn't develop a good a good base of muscle but i have literally done similar push pull-up specialization phases i did one during my phd when i was constantly in um these these different gyms to 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 run my studies and i had a, a really long period where i was in a crossfit gym so i didn't have access to a lot of other equipment so i was just doing like literally sets of pull-ups just between every uh like like opportunity i had between data collection and then i remember in 2011 i really thought like i need to bring up my back which i kept thinking for a long time but only recently it was successful at bringing up my back with and i did all the pull-ups in the world and i basically got like I saw a specific hypertrophy in my biceps and like terrace major but not a lot mm. in my lats so I've never really had a good connection with pull-ups even though I enjoy the movement and I have been decently good at them I've gotten in the mid 20s I think I even did uh 21 or 22 reps at over 200 pounds um so that's that, that's pretty good for for my body weight and I think I've done sets of five with like 70 pounds for yeah. for training I, I I've never really pushed them as a strength movement that much but um, they were a huge part of my back training because that's what all the magazines and all the historical documents and all the cool Silver Age like historical lifters did. But um, to be honest, where I think I've improved, and I talked about this with Omar back in 2019, where I was able to really bring up my legs and where I was able to really bring up my back and make some notable improvements was when I started diversifying my portfolio a little bit more. And most recently with my back, it's it's come from doing a lot of more like nerdy stuff that's, you know, that, that people would throw shade at cast for, you yeah, know, yeah. like single arm pull downs, uh, cross body pulls, focusing on length and partials and um, spending a lot of time in 2011, 2012, just trying to get a really good mind muscle connection. I feel like honestly, the back is like the one region of the body where that that is a thing and really does matter because you can complete yeah. the movements with various other muscle groups and various other muscle groups in the back being the weak link. Um, that's when I started playing with uh, pullovers and straight on push downs. Um, I started playing with having a little more arc to my rowing. Um, and uh, yeah, it, it, it took me a while, but ultimately I don't find for me pull-ups to be a very effective back exercise. Yeah. But if you were to tell me, hey, you can only choose six exercises, I might choose pull-ups. 